In this video, I'm going to discuss some object-oriented programming concepts. And I'm going to use boats to make some points about OOP, or object-oriented programming. There are all kinds of boats in the world. But those boats all share some common characteristics, and that sharing can be used to illustrate OOP. So, uh, walking down this ramp, uh, and we're looking at some objects here. Of course, all you know, these objects are of the boat class. What we have here is a, a dinghy object next to the kayak objects. And this is about you know, this is about as simple a boat object as you can get. And it's just a just a shell that uh, if we flipped it over we'd see it has some seats in it. It floats. It displaces enough water so that it floats. And uh, it's waterproof. And of course, these are some other boat objects. Pretty simple too. Uh, but you know, different in their shape and in their material. These are all plastic kayaks. But different types of boat objects. As I look out from the dock here, See all kinds of boat objects. Uh, I see some pretty big sailboats over there across the way. As I pan along here, oh, there's a there's a motorboat object. boats down there. There's a, some boat yards. Now we come back to that very simple boat object, the dinghy. So there's a motorboat object heading out from Mamaroneck Harbor towards Long Island Sound. And it obviously has some more functionality than the dinghy, which I showed you earlier and I'm sitting on right now. What is, so, so what is some of the added functionality? Well, it's got a motor. It's got a steering wheel. It's got... It's bigger. It's got more seats. It's got a windshield. Uh, it's got a bunch of other, like, amenities that... Oh, there's another boat coming in. This boat has the additional functionality of a, of a uh, sun roof and skin cancer. So you can add all kinds of functionality to the basic boat object. Just the way you can add all kinds of functionality to a basic Java object. the same. <clears throat> but those objects still have the basic, uh, what's the word I want, the basic uh, aspects, not quite right, but the basic uh, features of the boat the simplest boat, which is their, their uh, waterproof, and they float, and they're something I didn't mention before, they're shaped so as to move through the water efficiently. So that's, uh, that's my partner up there, and she's telling me it's time to go. So uh, I'll continue this movie when I get back.
Okay. So all boat objects can be given some common requests, provided they have a captain, of course. Um, so, for instance, all of boat objects can be given the request to dock here. And different boat objects will accomplish that in different ways. And But it doesn't particularly matter from the perspective of the, say, the person running the docking facility, which we might say is equivalent to your program, uh, how the boat actually accomplishes internally how the captain does the docking. As long as we know that we can give to each boat object the command to dock here and the boat will correctly and safely dock there. And this uh, capability is known as polymorphism. So in this video we've touched upon objects, inheritance, and polymorphism. It's all major concepts in Java programming. Uh, and as we've seen, you know, the objects in the real world, for instance, boats, um, which if you haven't figured it out by now, I kind of like boats, uh, share some of the same characteristics as, uh, as Java objects. So, I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, it's kind of fun to make, and, uh, and, uh, when I'm not programming, uh, I guess one of my other favorite things is to is to be out on the water uh, in some kind of boat. And as I, those are a couple of my kayaks, uh, our kayaks, I should say, uh, that I go that I go uh, kayaking in with my captain uh, or my partner. Anyway, that's it for now.